Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is 12 volt 10400 mAh lithium ion battery pack that I bought 1.5 years back. Recently I noticed one problem that after fully charged instead of 12 plus volt the battery is showing below 11 volt. I will show you that in action. I have connected the charger and you can see the battery voltage is showing 12.6 volt and I will remove the charger now and the voltage is 10.8 volt which means either BMS or one battery or more than one battery will be faulty. We can dismantle this battery and let's see what is inside. If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video please comment on this video. In fact the packaging was good, total 12 batteries of 18650 type. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. This is 3S 10 Ampere BMS. At the most the battery can deliver 10 Ampere and if you are drawing more than 10 Ampere then the BMS will disconnect the output. Now we will look into how much Ampere each battery is. It is 2500 mAh and 4 batteries in parallel so maximum is 10 Ampere but in the wrapper it is written as 10400 mAh which is wrong definition. This is the complete wiring diagram of the battery pack. So first we need to measure each parallel battery voltage and it should show 4.2 or above 4 voltage. Let's measure the voltage. I am measuring the top layer and it is showing 3.4 volt. Now we will measure the center layer and it is showing 3.4 volt and the bottom layer is showing 4.2 volt. These four batteries are working perfectly fine that is why it is showing 4.2 volt. The rest of the eight batteries either the cell is faulty or BMS is faulty. 70% the cells will be faulty but 30% there is a chance that BMS will be faulty. In either cases we need to check the health of each cells. Otherwise what will happen is we replace the BMS and pack it. Then when it starts driving loads we realize that it is not functioning properly. Then we need to again open it. So in order to avoid that we will charge each cell separately and then do a load testing. And then only pack it. This is because this battery pack is going to use by me and I can't take chances of risk. Let's power this BMS and check the voltage of each terminals. I can see that B2 to B3 is showing just 4 volt only which is not correct. So most probably the BMS is faulty. Let's finalize after charging and testing each batteries. I have dismantled all batteries from the battery pack and now we need to charge them. I am charging two batteries using this charger and the other one is charging using this one. The rest of the batteries I have connected to TP4056 charging module and will charge it parallelly. Our batteries are now fully charged and now we need to do the load testing on it. For that I have serially connected three batteries and connect this motor and run it for one minute continuously. Then check the voltage of each cell. It should show above 4 volt and then only it is sure that the health of each battery is good. If it is less than 4 then it should be replaced. I will do that and come back. After load testing it is sure that all our batteries are good. So the problem is with the BMS. I do not have a 10 ampere BMS with me so I am using this 20 ampere BMS. This is one of the problem of battery pack. 
If I am making a 40 AH battery pack, then 20 numbers of 2000 mAh battery need to be connected in parallel and 3 layers are required for 12 volt. If one cell is damaged, uh, then we need to dismantle all 20 batteries and charge it separately and find out the faulty one. And again need to pack it, which is actually a time consuming process. If anyone knows any other technique to identify the faulty one, please comment on this video.
if you believe that this video is helpful then please click like button and share it to your friends earlier i have made a video on bms and the link to that video i will add in the description box that will also help you to know about bms and its usage or even characteristics Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.